No man who has taken time to holistically give himself to the word of God has not proved it that it works. The word of God cannot fail because this is the absoluteness of his power. An open invitation to a life in the word. Because you have received the faith of Christ and you have embraced the righteousness of God through faith. Grace and peace are multiplied. That is why we lay hands on the lame and they walk. We lay hands on the blind and they see. We lay hands on the deaf and they hear. It's powerful enough to give you the answer on its first application. Arise on the wings of revelation. Align your destiny. Transform your world. This is Fenero Make Manifest with Apostle Grace Lubeck. You unravel me. We the melody, you surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies. Tell all my fears ago. I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. You unravel me with the melody. You surround me with the song of deliverance from my enemies to all my feet. Let's sing it again. You unravel me. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my Tell him I'm no longer Tell him I'm a child of God
I'm a child of God. Oh, sing I'm no longer. I'm a child of God, oh, of God, sing oh, 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 And now we know, cause you, 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 
it away When I bounced well And it looked as if Standing here Only because Because you made the way oh, 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 oh. Next verse Now we Looking back from where we've come from Because of you and nothing we've done To deserve the love and mercy you've shown Strong enough to pick us up And you, you, you When a box was And it looked as So much so you Better way Only because Because you made a Yesu Biona Ami Mani Shinsan Yu Usa Antoine Ye Kamu Kubo Seta Wabulae 
Listen to the first verse again.
Standing here in your presence In the grass so relentless I am one By perfect love Wrapped within the arms of heaven In a peace that lasts forever Sinking death In mercy Wide away, drawing close by grace, and all my heart is yours. All fear removed, I bring you in and lead into your. Glory, Lord of all, so beautiful. For in you I find shelter, captivated by the splendor of your face. My secret place, wide away, drawing close by grace. And all my heart is yours Oh, feel removed I breathe you in, I lean into your love Oh, your Second verse again. See when I'm lost. When I'm lost, you pursue me. Lift my hands to see your glory, Lord. Oh, so beautiful. For in you I find shelter by the splendor of your face. Wide away, growing close by grace and all.
him wide awake Drawing close, stirred by grace And all my heart is yours So fear removed I breathe you in and lean into your love my prayer oh, oh, oh you are worthy of my prayer yes you are worthy of my praise oh, oh, oh you are worthy of my praise yes, yes. You were worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 you were worthy of my praise. Yes, you were worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 you were worthy. Of Come on, let's raise our voice and sing it. Give him a clap offering.
open our mouth and talk to God. Speak to God. Speak to God. Speak to God. Shando badi gazo bararararaba. Come on, let's speak in other tongues. If you're here and you've never spoken in tongues, this is the time. I see the Spirit give you utterance. Come on, let's pray. Shanda badaga so kataba balade. Shada da 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 Come on, speak to God. You're worthy of our praise. So prada go sika para taka sakata. Shada la 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 debo prede go sika la 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 ba. God, you're worthy of our praise. Shando badi ga so kata la 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 ba. Shere le 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 bo. Shala la 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 ba. Roko sika ta la 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 ba. Come on, somebody pray. Shola la 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 ba go saka ta la 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 ba. Shere le 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 bo. Oh, it is well with my life. It is well with my days. It is well with my years. Come on, speak to God. Come for your generation for your children for your assignment for your ministry for your dreams for your aspirations rekando go saya baba ba sala la 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 ba so brade go sika la 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 ba come on talk to god ma sala la 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 bo so brade go sika la 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 ba so lo 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 bo 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 sika la 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 ba You're worthy of my praise. Come 
Meleke, Asayako, Matokaya, Rokasanda, Sopatakoya, Hora Baba Baba Baba, Sokoteleke Shekete, Maso Paralaraba, Roko Sieketelepa, Maso Paralaraba, Sokorebo, Sakaterepaya Reba, Horeko Shiketele, Mosaraba, Sororobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobob
Zere ke se ke se ke te Mpaso kato la bode Roko talapa roka O zango de kayoba O reka toga mate O se ke te le kosa Maso nga te ke te le O reko se ke re nebo Zoro ro 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 bo Zaka la 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 ba Zora ma le nebo se Rako te ke te le ge Zoro ro 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 bo Zara la 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 re bo Sanda ko se ke te le bo Come on talk to God Reka to la bala de ga Eze Mato ka shara la la ba Roko zi alabade Zoko re bala kota Ea ko raba baba Zore bala de gos Maso ko pradega Roma de gos sele kete Maso de gos se kete You're worthy of my praise 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 Maso mago Maso katola Soka parateka So bala de gose Maso paralala Roko sekete Jana la 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 ba Soko tele parade Soko barateke Eya baralale Eya awe Eya awe Eya awe Maso ramadego Hosa katora mare Ropa nego sapata Soka patele kete Maso mbade kata Maso patalako Rapa ya gote Masa la 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 ba Ozike le kete Mkota la payara da go Mete le kete le ka So barato parate Arogo shika talapa So prade go zikaya Eshara male de go So bono do do bo Rako se kete le ke Mka shara la 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 ba Eya koya Mako bagata So karakote Maka bagotolo Eshe kere le le bo Zara la 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 ba So kopara le le bo So robo kosha Kamo reko salaba Reko se kere le 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 bo Zara la 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 ba Si kere le poro do Zako talako Reko si katalaba Roko se le mando gose Maso kote le baradega Roko si katalaba ba Roko se kete le barale de bo So robo go si kararaba Roko se kete le ba So robo go si kata Masa kate le go tele ba Come on talk to God Maso nda go patala Roko se kete le ge O si kaba go tele ga Ngo sararararaba Roko se kete le ga So prade go si rabada So kora Rako sekete, so mantolo kotolo po, raka shaka talaba, roko sika yaba, reka zara la 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 ba, roko sika talamo, zanga tolo baradego, zara la 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 ba, soko rabadego se, soko potolo kotogo, zara la 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 ba, zara la 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 ba, zara ba 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 kose, maso kotele kete, masha katala barade, roko sika talaba, zongo tele kete, asha kare. Roko sikata, mbrade go sikara, roko sikata lapo, mkata la barade, roko se reboro do dobo, soko rebada gosha, rako se ketele marade, hosha katalago, ngara katagote, mkaso patolago, hereko sikara, zoro badigaso, matoko shere rebo, rako tele kotele, mkota la bora nebo, rako se ketele pa, zoko parade gaso, reko sikara la raba, rego se ketele, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Marakon de Gosia. Yeshikara la la ba. Roko se keteleka. Nkosa la 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 ba. Roge teleko telego. Zoro lo lo bo roko se kete. Zako sa katelegete. Sogo para de gasogolo. Heri kato kato la ko. Para de go se gere pa. Roko si katara pa. Zoko para te gato. Se keteleko si kata. Nkosa para de go se. Hore ko si katala. Zoko re para de go se gere te. Nkasa la 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 ba. Roko se ketelegete. Roko si kara la la ba. Eya ko para la le bo. Si kara la ba ko se. Rako se kete. Zaka la 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 ba. Roko si kata la ba. Roko si kara ba. Roko si kata la ba. Roko se ketelege. Osa la ba la dego. Osa kote le pa. Nkota la ba la dego. Zala la 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 ba. Zore ba go se kete. Maso kata la ba. Osa kere pa. Nkota la ba de. Zogo de korata. Osa ketelege. Ngo zala la 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 ba. Zoka la 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 ba ba ba. Zoko pra dego se ge. Osa kere le 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 bo. Zakara la 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 ba, zokara la 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 ba, zokora ba go sekete, nko sara la la la, zoke prade go siara ba, roko siare barade, 
Kosso Boko Sikara, Roko Sikatalapo, Nko Sara Barade, Roko Sikatalapa, Roko Seketeleke, Nka Sara Lararaba, Zogo Brede Go Sigata, O Sekerebo, Sako Brande Gose, Maso Katola Gato, Maso Bogo Tokolo, Nka Saba de Gazo, Erika Sokote, Rako Selepate, Nka Tolo Borodo, Sara Lararade Go, Zakatala Gotele, Asara Lararaba, O Seketelepa, Zoko Bradego, Zoro Bogo Siala, O Reko Telekete, Nkashara Lararaba, Zoro Koshika Lararaba, Erika Zolabade. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give him a mighty hand of praise. Come on, let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Take your seats in Jesus' name. Thank you, choir. I'm seeing a few things coming from heaven. But let me tell you something. If footballers can stay playing, <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? If, if, if there was a football match and something started from up, what, what, what would happen? They just continue watching the what? The match. Welcome to Fanero, where nothing stops us. Hey, hey. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You'll have stories to tell your children in Jesus' mighty name. Don't worry, it will clear. Let me bless your offerings. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the most generous people in the world. I pray that you'll supply all their needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. And all saints said, Amen. the Bible says in the Gospel of St. John, the 16th verse, if you will read with me, and I want us to read the Amplified Version. It says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence. He says in the world you have tribulation and trials and distress and frustrations. But he says, but be of good cheer. Take her courage. Be confident, certain and undaunted. For I have overcome the world. The amplified version there adds the word. It says a statement. It says, I have deprived it of the power to harm you. And the Bible says, I have conquered it for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He says, be of good cheer. Be confident. Be certain. Carry some courage. Because I have deprived the, the world of power to harm you. And I have conquered it for you. Today, I want to preach a sermon called Living in a Conquered World. Somebody shout glory to God. Some of us maybe agree with the statements that I just said, but not many of us understand the gravity of this statement. Jesus himself told you that there's going to be trials in this world. There's going to be frustrations in this world. You're going to wake up one day and things are not working the way you expect them to work. One day somebody here listening to me, you're going to wake up and the doctor said something that you never expected to ever hear out of the mouth of a doctor. Some of you have heard things that you never expected to happen to your own children, to your family, to you, you've never believed. And certain things are so shocking. And when you, they happen, you ask yourself, how? What did I miss? Why didn't I get right? Why me, Lord? Why me? And he said, 
in the world you'll have trouble. As long as you allowed to come into this world, you, you, you could have said no. You should have said no. You, you could have committed suicide at a very early age and said, I'm not brave enough to live in this world. But the fact that you allowed to live, you breathed in oxygen and you're fighting whichever way you can just to be alive. There's somebody on this ground, you're, tra- you're, 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 you're swallowing drugs every night. You're, you're doing everything to stay alive. You're doing fitness, you're training, you're you're stretching, you're, you're on diets, you're, you're doing everything to stay alive. Or even when a mosquito bites you, you swallow anti-malaria in advance just in case the thing takes you out. You, you're fighting to live. But God said, expect so much in this world. In fact, it should not shock you if things come. It should not shock you if trouble comes. It should not shock you if testation comes. But he said, but be of good cheer, be courageous. Carry your joy and leap with victory because I have deprived the world of the power to harm you. That means whatever is in your life, even though it looks like it is killing, it cannot kill you. God has deprived it of the power to kill you. I know that the doctors might say that this is an incurable disease. Nothing takes it out. Yes, that's the doctor's opinion. But God says, I have deprived that disease of the power to harm you, whether you believe it or not. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Even when whatever I'm talking about seems like it's taking you out, there's somebody probably you're watching this video. And you're on your deathbed. And you wonder how you're going to reconcile the words that I'm saying with the reality of your experience. Glory to God. Glory to God. But let God be true and every man a liar. God has deprived the world of its power to harm you. He has conquered it for you. So when you were born into this world, you came in a conquered world, but you were not subject to the covenant that allows you to function as one under a conquered world. Because whether you want it or not, if somebody is not born again, they cannot claim that they live in a conquered world. Or at least if it is a conquered world, then that experience does not work in the ambits of their lives. Why? Because they're subject to the fallen nature which is among the things which are conquered. Hello? Glory to God. But when the Bible says that you have been born again, not of flesh and blood, nor the will of man, but born of God, that which you are born of, the Bible says, has overcome the world. It has overcome the world. And I love the language of Scripture because many times we... we, 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 we sometimes read scripture and interpret it for what it's not saying. Because we're taught right, wrongly concerning the things of the spirit. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 4 verses 2. It says, Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. Do you agree? And this is that spirit of the Antichrist. The spirit that doubts the Lordship of Jesus. The spirit that doubts the Lordship of Jesus. He says that's the spirit of Antichrist or Antichrist, depending on where you learned English from. Now the Bible tells us, listen, whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already it is working in the world. That spirit is fighting anything that is of Christ. Do you understand? That's where now he comes into the fourth verse and he says, Ye are of God, little children, and you have overcome them. Which them? The spirits of the Antichrist. You have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he which is in the world. He says, Ye have overcome them. Before which doctor bewitches you, Do you understand what I'm saying? Before somebody says, let me do juju on that woman. God says, be of cheer, all little children, because you have overcome them. Before anything that opposes your knowledge of Christ comes to you, God looks at you as an overcomer. You will not overcome it. You may not overcome it. You should not overcome it. You, you, no, 
you will not overcome it he says you have overcome them why because greater is he that is in you than he which is in the world glory to god when that virus entered your body god said you overcame it oh when that disease entered your bones god said you overcame it when that trouble hit your house god said you overcame it when that attack came on your children god said you overcame it when you receive a bad report about your son god said even that one you overcame it somebody shout hallelujah when they sent you a bad report concerning your marriage god said you overcame it when they sent you a report concerning the collapse of your business god said you overcame because because greater is he which is in you than he which is in the world i wish some of us understand this you'd not worry because somebody sent things under your bed oh you'd not worry because somebody planted something under your chair you'd not worry because somebody planted something in your car you'd not worry because they told you that they went on the mountain and they smoked 20 20 20 what 20 pipes and and and, and, and they spent the whole night and they were they were whatever it is glory to god Somebody was telling me, oh, Nyege Nyege is in this country. Oh, it came. I said, that it disturbs those ones, not us. Nyege Nyege can't come on my child. Glory to God. Nyege Nyege can't come next to my family. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because I overcame. That's why I didn't give opinion. Ha 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 ha. Uganda is a country of God. This nation belongs to God. It belongs to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. And there's nothing the devil can do. There are things that cannot touch this nation because you're here. I'm talking about you with your old hair somebody shout amen because greater is he which is in you than he which is in the world glory to god i've deprived the world of its power to harm you they might look like they can harm you but they cannot harm you they they, they can look like they're going to uh, but they cannot the problem with many christians is the reason why you lose these battles is that you think they can you assume that they can you agree that they can but if you exercise your spirit to refuse and say i know what i'm born of i know who is working in the inside of my spirit i know the power that raised christ from the dead and is now resident in me i know that the spirit of antichrist i have overcome already some of you would sleep in peace somebody said amen Shout glory to God. Somebody called me and said, Apostle, I'm being bewitched. I'm bewitched by my Smanyako wife, and then I'm bewitched by my, my uh, cousin. And then I even just discovered that another aunt of mine is doing witchcraft. Uh, pray for me. So I said, in my head, I can actually pray for this woman and they live for a moment but they will only live for a moment so i engage her in a conversation i say how how do you understand what i'm saying how how do they overcome how do they bewitch you and these things touch you her problem was a defiled conscience some of you you're defiled in your conscience the bible says we know that there is only one god for whom are all things and and, and and by whom are all things and his and his son jesus christ 
But the scripture says that how be that this knowledge is not in all men, that there is only one God, capital. And the Bible says for some, being ignorant of this knowledge, their conscience is defiled because they eat as concerning the idol. They eat as unto the idol. You see, when you think that you're bewitchable, you are bewitchable. Yeah. Touch somebody and tell him, when you think you're bewitchable, you're bewitchable. Glory to God. If you think that a witch doctor can point your name and kill you, you are killable. And, and in, I've seen believers who can be killed. Don't joke, I've seen believers who can be killed. That's why we still have deliverance. To help those that might die in the process before they believe this. Hallelujah. But there's some of us who understood who we are. Some of us understood who we are long ago. That knowledge is in us. We eat with one consciousness. One consciousness. There is only one God. These are works of men. It helps you live and sleep in peace. It gives you a certain confidence. That is why when Paul speaks of that, he's in Corinthians, there's a portion of scripture where he speaks to them in Corinthians chapter 7, verses 4. If you read the Amplified Version, he preached to them the message and they got to a point where they were so convinced of who they were in Christ. And out of the abundance of that revelation and experience, Paul tells them, I have great boldness and free and fearless confidence and cheerful courage toward you he says my pride in you is great i'm filled with i'm filled brimful with the comfort of it with all he says our tribulation and in spite of it i'm filled with comfort and i'm overflowing with joy yes we are going through some tests you're going through some tribulations we're being tried but when paul was looking at the church in corinth the man was full of joy he was full of a fearless and free confidence why because even though they were going through all they were going through he knew that devil was not going to take them out one of our pastors the parents got covid the covid days and they're elderly and one of them had a history of asthma and younger people were dying and then this wonderful pastor of ours called me and says, these people are in ICU. And the, the, the story of the lungs is bad. And I told him this. I told him those ones. I don't worry about them. One second, I know they'll come out. There are people I can worry about. But there are people I cannot worry about. Some of you can get in trouble and I don't call you. Because I know you can handle There are people I hear bad news about and I tell somebody, ah, those ones, don't worry. If, if that's what has been said, don't even worry about her. She knows what to do. And then there are those ones who, when I hear they're in trouble, oh, I must run because you might die. You have not yet understood fire. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? But I want to speak the same language of Corinth. We want you to get to a point where every time we think about you, joy comes in our spirits. We cheer in there with courage toward you and our pride is great in you. Why? Because even though we are in tribulation of some sort, the Bible says, Paul says, I am comforted and overwhelming with joy. Why? Because I know it can't take you out. And some people just need to hear those words to live. One time I, was, I found a dying, a dying young, young, young woman. And the girl was sick and dying and they don't even know uh, what is killing her. And, and you know the word, the word is a powerful thing. I just sat this young girl down and I remember telling her, people who die early don't look like you. Then she asked me, what do you mean? I said, when you imagine people who die early, do you see yourself like them? Do you understand what I'm saying? And the girl simply agreed with the word. And she said, because you have said it, people, because you have said it, I'm not going to die. And the body started healing and healing 
and healing and healing until she was whole. Why? Because she just needed to separate the two images. The image of those who die early and her. And realize that she doesn't look like them which die. Do you understand what I'm saying? Some of you must create images of who you are. Because there are people right now watching me, you've imagined yourself in, 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 in coffins. You're 12, you're 20, you're, you're 32, you're 60, but you already see yourself in a coffin. You're creating images of people who die at 60. Fire! Do you understand what I'm saying? Create images of you at 90. Create images of you at 100. Create images of you at 110. Create images of you at 120. Why? Because he has conquered the world for you. He's conquered it for you. He's like, go in there and then you say, let me make sure that I deal with anything that can frustrate this woman. And after dealing with it all, he says, now go in the world. So you came in a world that is already tuned to agree with you. You came in a world, listen, When COVID came, that's when I understood most the word no weapon fashioned. Because we started hearing rumors COVID was made in a lab. We don't know. I'm no person of conspiracy theory. But I'm a spiritual man. And I agree with it. Because I said it even before the news said it, as these men of God. So I imagine, if a man can go in a lab and make a disease, no weapon formed. Shall prosper. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? No weapon. Ah, it can't kill me. Because God did not create disease. Do you agree? Satan is the one that creates disease. How can you die of something Satan has made? Manya Ebola. No! Somebody shout hallelujah. But then there's somebody watching me saying, he's looking at people saying, no! And they are quiet. They say, no! <laughs> Come on, carry some boldness in you. Some of us, we believed the word and conceived it in our spirits. You, you can't. Come on. If the word says I am alive, I don't care what the doctor says, I'm alive. If the Bible says that I'm prospering, I have to prosper. If the scripture says I cannot fail, there is nothing in the world you can do to convince me otherwise. And that means if I have to say it every day, every week, every night, every month until my spirit is convinced, I do not care. I say it. He says, I've deprived the world of its harm from you. I've conquered it for you. So why do you worry about next year? Next year you're entering into a conquered zone. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This starting month, enter it a conqueror. Jesus said you are more than conquerors. Because it strengthens you. It's like finding you worried in a situation and you don't know what to do. And then he holds you and says, hey, I have told you these words that in me you might have peace. In me. I know that it's not changeable. According to what they've said, it, you cannot change it. But he says, I've told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence. I know what I'm telling you, he says. 
have told you these things because I knew one day you'll get to the point where you'll need these words. Some of you might not understand this sermon, but one day you will look for it. One day you will look for it. One day you'll go on the internet alone at night and say, where is that thing called living in a conquered world? And then you'll put it on at 3 a.m. with many thoughts. And then it will pump you up with so much faith. And you might find yourself screaming that even your neighbors might hear you screaming. Not because you're crazy, but because you have finally understood that it cannot take you out unless you agree. Somebody shout amen. amen. He said, I'm telling you this, this because so that in me you'll have peace. When we talk about that peace that passes all understanding, we talk about that thing where people look at you and they don't understand why you have peace. Have you ever been in a situation where everyone is worried about you but you are walking? Everybody's worried about you, oh dear woman, how, what is she going to do? Oh, but inside there, something is telling you, I, I am fine, I know. Why? Because in, in, in there is a peace of God that passes all understanding. It guards my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. That, that means I cannot meditate negatively, neither can I contemplate negatively. I know what's working on my life. I know who commands my days. I know what's ahead of me. And you continue convincing yourself and convincing yourself. And this is what I know. When you learn to convince yourself and harden, eventually the devil can say, no, let me let this woman go. That's what they call a fighter. That's why I don't believe I don't believe that the tribulation will come before the rapture. Because that's a defeated realm. I believe that the rapture will come before the tribulation. God has to take out the warriors. God has to take out the victors. He, he has to first take us out and then bring it a world where we cannot call on him. Men cannot call on him easily. Because that's the time he says in the tribulation, in, in those years he will, he will give power to the beast. And he that readeth shall understand. Those people who used to hear the gospel and ignore us, that's when they'll, they'll remember, hey, this is a tribulation. In fact, every time I think about the rapture, I worry. That is why I'm not sure whether it's advisable for people to hire born again pilots. Because <laughs> imagine. Imagine the rapture comes and the pilot is born again. And both of them were in tongues. Oh, that's why they put autopilot in those things. Uh, that's why they put autopilot in those things. They know any time something can come and take a man away. Imagine he's a bus driver at 100 kilometers per hour. <laughs> driver, are you <laughs> Somebody shout amen. <laughs> Glory to God. The Bible says he'll never let his righteous see corruption. No, his soul wrought in hell. Tribulation is a corrupted realm. Because it changes the order and gives power to the fallen life. It empowers the beast. That's not where you should be, will be if you're a believer. If you're a believer, rapture comes, it takes us out. And then those who didn't believe suffer the tribulation. But as long as the spirit remaineth on the earth, and I even had people in COVID, they had already started, oh, the end of is here. This lockdown is going to take us. It, you know, conspiracies began. You know, this is the end times. So uh, what? The 5G is going to come, and then they're all going to arrest us in. They're going to incarcerate us and put us somewhere in camps. And I said, when I can still say, Rokando Bazigado, Sikatola Bade, ha ha, no! Come on, somebody. That is why I was telling my pastor, he says, don't worry about those people who give conspiracy. COVID was not the end of the world. And I remember telling you, it cannot be the end of the world. That's not, just how, that's not how we sign out. <laughs> Glory to God. That's not how we sign out. You can, that means some people, those are people who believed in the tribulation before the rapture. 
No. I asked the dear pastor and I said, right now, if you go in your room and somebody has a demon spirit and you cast it out, does it go? He said, yes. That means the spirit is still alive and here and, uh, and available for us to rebuke devils. Do you lay hands on the sick and they still heal? Oh, yes. So that means the spirit is still here. You cannot tell me that is existing in a time where you can demonstrate power and call on the word of God and it works and you're telling me this is the end time. No, not like this. Some of us can't be taken out like that. It doesn't matter what they plan. That's why, oh, some of you worry so much about, oh, now there's a beastie. Now there's triple sixty. Now they are chipsy. The people are making chips. No, the chips you're eating. No, I'm talking about those things that are going to put on the forearm and on the right and left, 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 left hand. It is true. It is true. That some people out there are doing this. It is true that, uh, you know, lawlessness is getting exposed more than ever before with the spirit of lawlessness, the son of perdition. It is true that they've already started making those microchips. It is true that people, are, some, the, the Satan is trying to eh, do so much in this last time to destroy. But when Jesus prophesied about the end time, he told us, <laughs> you, you have peace. When you hear floods and wars and rumors of war, he says, you have what? Peace. Let bullets fly. They won't touch you. In Jesus' mighty name. Because he promised that I have conquered it already for you. That would be so conflicting and contradictory of God. You say, what about those who have died? I also don't know their faith. I can't speak for a man's faith because I have to check his heart first. So I'm not going to speak for any man, but this is what I know. That I believe that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Job says, even though my flesh rots and wastes away, but I still believe to see God in my flesh. That was a man who knew that God can just check you out as a loser. You'll never die like a loser. No. Even when you, some of you who are ready to go to heaven, prepare well. Don't just die. No. Sign out like, like a prophet, like a, like a man of God. Why? That's why I don't give excuse for living above the elements of this earth. I don't give excuse for living above any frustration in this earth. Everything that I see in the world, there's something that always comes and reminds me, but you have conquered this already. You have conquered this already. And that's the boldness he tells you you must walk with. That's the boldness you must carry your race. You have overcome the world. I cannot tell what's going to happen next year. I don't know, there's a lot happening in yeah, our economies, fuel prices have doubled, inflation, money is scarce, yeah, 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 yeah. We know all of that. But the Bible says that I have taken away its power to harm you. That's why I told you, even if you will go to $100 a liter, you will drive your car. If we are only understanding, we are understanding for the fallen world that does not have a way out of victory. But for you who know God, this is what I know. That I don't care how much things go up, you, you are still above anything that could go higher. And you will win, you will finish, it will work eventually. The victory will be seen to come on your side. I have deprived the world of anything that could ever harm you. So you understand when I tell you I can't die in a car accident. Hey, hey! He has deprived it of the power to kill me. I cannot say that some have died or could die there. I don't even know who, but not me. Not me. I remember one day, we were on a flight somewhere going for ministry. We had the worst turbulence that I've ever felt in a plane. It was so bad. I mean, I, 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 I travel a lot, so I know turbulence. I mean, I know turbulence. I sleep it, I eat it, I know it, I understand. But this one was bad. People started speaking to their gods, different gods. Indians started praying. <laughs> Muslims started, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. The people started praying. Oh, some women were screaming, Jesus, 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 Jesus. It was so bad. I 
after some time, of course, they couldn't serve food, nothing. People's heads were, it was bad. And I remember that day, I'm sitting in this plane, and I started to worry. Because I was not worried. Hey, you thought, no, no. <laughs> I started to worry because I was not worried. People were praying, go, go, go. I said, Am I okay? My brain was where I was going to minister. And while people were screaming, me, I was thinking, lame people are going to walk. Blind eyes are going to see. The dumb are going to speak. That's where I'm at. Then I said, oh my God, am I being insensitive? Am I no human anymore? What's wrong with me? So, may you worry that you don't worry. In Jesus. Because the world had fashioned it, that designed us to worry. And I start to realize that some of us every day we disconnect from that fear. The things that scare the world no longer scare us. <laughs> yeah! As you continue reading this word, something starts hardening you. You start feeling the voice of God tell you, no, this is not where you should fear. I promise you. I was, that's when I, and I understood that the word of God can literally change a man's conscience and cleanse it of the fallen thought. I was not worried one bit that I was not going to reach. I didn't think, <laughs> people were calling their mothers, people were calling their fathers, people were, me, I was very, and I'm not, uh, the Lord is my witness, I was very comfortable. Not because I trusted the pilot. No. Some of them boys also are not stable. <laughs> Might find a guy at the end of his days. But in my head, I know if, if there's a suicidal one, that's not the plane I will take. Many years ago, I flew to Kenya on a prophetic mission. Kasarani and where I entered into a place and I stood before a congregation and I said, I come as a prophet of God. God has told me that they are going to bomb your nation before any bomb took off. And I asked believers, can we pray? And one pastor there said, ah, that, that cannot happen in Kenya. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. After I finished that prophetic word, I said, let me get back home. There were two buses to leave. Are you following? So I booked one which I was going to go in. And then later the spirit told me, no, cancel that ticket, book the next one. That very bus was bombed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bombs began. By the time I was leaving Kenya, the bombs had begun. But do you know how God saves you? When you continue aligning your conscience to the truth. Can I say that that guy saw a bomb in the bus? I cannot say I saw a bomb in the bus. But I'm talking about that God who will see you enter trouble and he says, no, you know my name. And take you out. Glory to God. You know me and he will take you out. You must believe in God to save you. You must believe in that God who will preserve you. Come on, stop fearing and being afraid of what the world has told you. Some of you, your, 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 your experiences are only in what you have seen happen to men, not what God has told. So you've drawn a world that is so deceived and that's why you could die like them. He says the world, the world and these foundations are out of course because they walk not in understanding. They're in darkness. And he says, I've said that you are gods, but you die like mere men. 
Why? Because you do not understand your part in the world. Did you know it's the responsibility of the church to hold the foundations of the world through faith and truth? Things are out of course because we have many people out in the world who are not ready to believe God for who he is. Certain things should not happen. How do they enter a room and shoot everyone including you? How? Some of you remember in Makere, there was a group of young men had started to teach the word and I started to teach them the way of faith, way of faith, way of faith. And there was this young man called Moses. Moses went on a mission in Kenya. How many of you remember that story? Yes, some of you are even in university then. Moses enters a room. There are about 50 something people. This Muslim guy's extremist enter the church and shoot everyone. And when the man gets to Moses, he pulls the trigger three times. Quaka, 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 quaka. It refused. And the man went out. And the boy came back. Everybody in that church was killed. Only one survivor. Apostle's son. <laughs> Glory to God. Somebody says, Papa, I survived. I told him you had to survive. You have to see your children. Your children's children. A random madman cannot come out of nowhere. No, let the... Uh, uh. Why? Because he believed the word of God. You're listening to this word, but you don't know when it will save you. One day a disease will enter in and find it. <laughs> and the word will tell the disease, get out, wrong house. He has deprived the world of its power to harm you. He's deprived the world of its power to harm you. So don't walk like a survivor. Walk like you know who you are. Look like you understand who you are. If a car gets a puncture, like, ah, no, boo -boo -boo -boo, just relax, tell him, hey guys, calm down, I'm in the car. I'm in the bus, remember? Hey, 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 I'm in the car. You know the company is sinking. No, don't worry, I'm working. I'm still working here. Uh, that's what that's the boldness God is looking for. Oh, Uganda is going to hit ship. No, 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 no. I'm still a pastor in Uganda. I'm a man of God. Don't worry about our nation. Everything will be okay. Why? Because I'm there. Put your name. Your family cannot fail. Oh, we are struggling, our family, you see your brothers and sisters, mommy, don't worry. You're blessed that I'm part of this family. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. You have a woman of God in the house. Don't worry, mommy, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. You have me, I'm there. Such confidence have we toward him. Those are the kind of people our leaders are looking for. When they are troubled, you're the ones who calm them down and tell them, don't worry, we are praying. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. I told you of a lady who was taking her child for an operation. She reached in the middle and she was streaming and then she had me give a word of knowledge for her child. She told the man, turn back, my boy is healed. <laughs> Apostle Grace has said, how do you know he's the one? Me, I know they are talking about me. <laughs> And the boy healed. You must build some faith muscle. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you're going to hear worse things happening in the world. You're going to hear words. People are going to speak. It's okay. You have conquered this world already. Be at peace. Have your joy. Carry the confidence in your heart that everything is working together for you. Even that which doesn't look like. When you go for interviews, don't go there saying, you know, some of you send me messages and I feel like crying. I post, I have an interview, pray for me that I get it. No, the message is supposed to be, thank God with me. Because I conquer. That's the right my mindset. You, before you enter the room, you say, Father, I thank you. Because I conquer every spirit, every force, every intellect in this house. And I believe that as I enter there, everything they'll ask, I'll answer it the way they want to. And I'll even teach them. And then you enter humbly. You enter humbly. And you answer everything like one who knows who God calls. 
Some of you, you live a very inferior life. Everywhere you enter, you look like you're, you're a survivor. You need to read the Constitution to know your rights. <laughs> These are your rights. You'll trample on snakes and scorpions. And none of those things shall by any means harm you. A viper hits this man, he shakes it off. Gua! The Bible doesn't say Paul prayed. Ah, remember. The Bible says he shook off the beast in the fire. And the Bible says, and he felt no harm. Imagine a snake bites a man and he's, huh. So bring your cup. So the Bible says, next verse, next verse, next verse. And, they, and how be they looked when, they should have, when he should have swollen, all fallen down dead suddenly. But after they looked a great while and saw no harm come to him. And they changed their mind and said, this man was a God. May people change their mind about you. I said I decree for to every man and woman at the sound of my voice. May God do something and people change your mind about you. They will change their mind, sorry, about you. They will change their mind. They will say no. I don't know what he's going to do, but I know that he will do something. He will do something. And they'll say, this woman is a God. But imagine such consciousness. Imagine such consciousness. Shake it off. And say, let's go. These men believed. These men believed. But there are people I know, once a mosquito bites, in Jesus' name, he, he, I told you my story. My father is my witness and mother and family. I got one time, I got malaria every three weeks. I was in hospital every three weeks. And I used to sleep under a net. I, I did everything, repair, nothing. One day I understood who I was. And I'll never forget one day I was seated somewhere and a mosquito came on my hand. Bam! And I felt its pain and I told it, drink and get satisfied and go! After I drank, I just shook my head off and I said, if a man shook a viper in the fire, plus I can't enter my blood. I have never gotten malaria ever again. Because it's conquered in Christ. That is somebody saying, now look at this man. If people will die, no, you're the one who will die. You who thinks those things. Don't put everybody at the thermostat of your faith. If you don't believe, it's your problem. So when they bite, I say, okay, okay, let them drink. They can only eat, but they can't live. They can't put something in me to harm me. Hey, you tell yourself every day. The mo That's why I tell people, the human brain is amazing. Do you know a madman can eat something and it won't kill him and you eat it and you die? Consciousness, not faith, just consciousness. Now add that consciousness to the word and you're going to become more crazier than the madman. That's why Paul says the gospel is foolishness to them which are perishing, but to us who believe it is the power of God unto salvation. It's the power of God unto salvation. He has deprived the world of the power to harm you. It will not harm you. He says a thousand will fall at one side and ten thousand on the other. But they will not touch you. Let's get to our feet. Now you're going to say the most crazy statements. I want you to scare yourself by your confession. And as we pray, if you're there, and you say, I've never given my life to Jesus and I want to be born again today, Apostle. Walk here and receive that life. Because somebody may ask themselves, 
What are we talking about? We're talking about the very life that raised Christ from the dead. When we became born again, that very spirit that raised him from the dead now came resident in the inside of us. And our meditations are so. When you understand these things, you know, there are people, and I want to finish, but allow me to say this. There are people here who live in perpetual fear. You deal with fear every day. You're scared of something. Every minute of your life, you're scared of something. Somebody says something, your heart pumps the whole night. Somebody points at you and your heart pumps the whole year. You're afraid of everything. You're afraid of the everything read on radio. You're on television waiting for the next thing that's going to kill you. I came to rebuke you out of that fear. Come and receive Jesus. For those of you who want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, come. And as the rest of us, as we pray, let me give you two minutes to talk to God, even as of you who are here, and I know many are coming. As you're speaking to God here, the rest of us as well are saying, God, we believe in your word. We believe in your truth. We're not slaves to fear. We are children of the Most High God. Let's open our voice and speak. Let's speak to God. If you want to give your life to Jesus, run here. Because I have only three minutes to close this broadcast. If you're sick in your body, today I came to give you the medicine to heal you and deliver you from all oppression. Jesus died for you. He shed his blood for you that you might live. Hallelujah, you have won the victory. Talk to God. Two minutes only. Talk to God. Hallelujah, you have won it all for me. Down. You are the risen King, see that it majesty. Yeah. in majesty Father in the name of Jesus we thank you for your word and I'm, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that we are more than conquerors by Christ which strengthens us. The world is deprived of its power to frustrate us. Disease is not yours in the name of Jesus. Poverty is not yours in the name of Jesus. Struggle and strife are not yours in the name of Jesus. 
I decree that you will you can no witchcraft can touch you no demonic operation will come near you no sorcerer or no necromancer will touch you in the name of Jesus wizards will not harm you in the name of Jesus no darkness rejection or curse pronounced upon you will have power over your life I decree that you shall live and you do live above all principality and powers the word of God says disease will not kill you you will not struggle or strive with anything in this world the world is already conquered for you wealth is yours peace is yours victory is yours joy is yours love is yours glory is yours wisdom is yours understanding is yours give the Lord a medical praise those of you who are here just repeat these words with me just say what I'm saying right now say father I thank you for the gift of Jesus today I have heard the word and I choose to submit myself to your will I receive you into my heart and I confess your Lordship Jesus as one who shed his blood for me and was raised for my glory today I'm born again amen let me pray for you father I pray for these ones may they be above all struggle and strife there's a woman here who has a stomach issue may God heal you right now in the name of Jesus you spirit of infirmity and disease get out witchcraft lady in a black dress I rebuke that spirit of witchcraft out of your life you struggling spirit from their household not only is God going to deliver you but he's going to use you to deliver everybody in your household Power the Holy Ghost sickness is not yours struggle is not yours Strife is not yours. In Jesus' name. Those of you who have prayed with us, only give us two minutes. Two. We just want to take your phone numbers, your names. I want to pray for you. I want to follow you up and help you understand what it means to be born again. Okay? Just follow those gentlemen. Two minutes only. The rest of you see you on Sunday. You see, the service is over. You have won the victory yeah. Hallelujah hey. Where is the witchcraft? For me yeah. What's this? Chibinyong Witchcraft Hey, somebody just surrendered witchcraft They are tired Hey, hey, to get a biocha, fire. Somebody just surrendered witchcraft. Hey, hey, hey. Some of you, you're clapping, but you also have yours. Bring and we burn in Jesus' name. There's a woman here. You have a child. The boy is about eight years and your son developed very bad wounds on his thumb last week run here run here your son developed wounds on their tongue last week he's eight years old he's not nine he's not seven he's not six he's eight years old where is that woman come quickly come quickly your son has wounds on their mouth i want to pray for them in their tongue where is that woman? Come quickly. Where is that lady? Your son has wounds on the tongue. He got wounds last week. Where is that woman? Put up your hands. I'm going to release the anointing and you're going to lay hands on your son. Power of the Holy Ghost! He's healed. Give the Lord a man of praise. See you. This broadcast was brought to you by Fenero Ministries International. 
For more information about the great work of God, visit us on the web at www.fenero.org or download the Fenero app today and enjoy sermons, daily devotionals, and timely updates. The Fenero app, available on both Google Play and Apple App Store. You may also email us at info at fenero.org. Follow us on social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Fenero, make manners.